So I get asked this question quite a bit and I wanted to make a short video about it just so you understood the differences between Windows going into sleep mode, Windows going into hibernation mode versus shutting down the computer or restarting. A lot of people really don't understand the differences and what happens behind the scenes when you click one of those buttons. So that's the purpose of this video today. First thing you need to know is that Windows Sleep and Hibernation Mode are primarily designed for mobile devices, specifically laptops. These two features of Windows were designed to allow you to simulate turning off your computer and saving energy so I'll briefly explain what each mode does and help you figure out which one makes the most sense for you. So first of all, Windows Sleep Mode does put the laptop in a low power state. What it does is when you select Sleep Mode, it actually writes everything you're working on into memory. Now, if you know anything about memory, you know if you're ever working on something and you your computer restarts and you haven't saved it, that's because it was written into memory and it is volatile, which means it is gone as soon as the computer is restarted. What sleep mode does is it writes whatever you're working on into memory and puts the machine in a low power state. In that low power state, when you bring the machine out of sleep, everything that's written to memory gets written back into Windows and you can continue where you were working. Now, the upside to that is that it does reduce the amount of power that your laptop is using. The downside to that is that even though whatever you're working on is written to memory it is not actually saved yet on the drive so in this example if you are working on a term paper for example if you put the machine into sleep mode without saving that document and bring the machine back out of sleep and now continue working on that document but you still have not saved it if the machine was to accidentally power off you lose everything however if you have saved that document before you and then put the machine into sleep mode. When you bring the machine out of sleep mode, your document is there, it's still saved, nothing changes, and that is one good way to help conserve battery if you are not going to be away from the laptop for very long. So for example, if you want to work on a paper and then maybe put the machine into sleep mode, go watch a TV show, go out with friends for a couple hours, come back, press key on your keyboard and the machine fires right back up. It saves you from having to boot the machine completely from cold and your stuff is right there where you left it. Again, the downside is if you have not saved it and the machine gets stuck in sleep mode, you lose everything. So that is a consideration that you need to think about. Now, hibernation mode is similar to sleep, actually uses less power than sleep mode. And what it does is when you put the machine into hibernation, it also takes what you're working on and writes it to the hard drive instead of memory. Now, does that save your documents? No. What it does is it writes it to the hard drive as one temporary file, and then when you bring the machine out of hibernation, it writes all that information back into virtual memory, and then you can continue where you left off. Now, hibernation is usually best used in an example where you are going to be away from the laptop for a good amount of time. So say, for example, you're taking a 14-hour flight across the ocean. Your battery may last three to four hours at max so you have things to work on that you're going to work on periodically throughout the flight so say for example you start off in the beginning before the flight takes off you do a little bit of work then you put the machine into hibernation mode two or three hours later maybe after dinner or after a short nap you go work on it again put the machine back into hibernation mode. And then several hours later, you might work on something else for a little bit. Then you can put the machine back into hibernation mode. Or for example, you are a jungle explorer and you're on a missionary trip through the jungle or you're on a mountain hike with friends and you only have one battery and that battery has to last you the length of the trip and you have to document it. So you would stop maybe for camp or break and do all your documenting and then put the machine into hibernation mode, which would allow you to extend the battery life until the next time you need it. And that's going to save a lot of battery power because in sleep and hibernation mode, you generally are going to only use about one to two watts of power. When the machine is in normal mode, 
regular usage, your power consumption is about the equivalent, about 60 watts of power, basically about the power that it takes to light a light bulb. So going from 60 watts of normal usage down to one or two watts of power in sleep or hibernation definitely will extend your battery life if you need that battery to last you a good long while. What I don't recommend is putting the machine in the sleep mode if you're only going to be away from it for a few minutes. Yes, it does make the machine boot up quicker. Yes, if your machine is slow, sleep mode and hibernation are better because your machine will come back up quicker. But at the same time, I would almost just as easily recommend leaving your machine up and running and just turning on a screensaver. The reason I don't recommend using sleep or hibernation mode especially on a laptop is many machines get stuck in sleep or hibernation mode and cannot come out of it when you press a button on your keyboard now what's the realistic implication of that if you're working on a term paper or if you're working on a critical document and you haven't saved it and your machine goes to sleep when you press that button and the machine does not turn back on the only recourse you have is to pull the battery out and hold the power button down to reset the memory that's built onto the motherboard and that will clear everything out and allow your machine to turn back on and I have seen in several cases where that machine will still not come back on even after you have done that so at best you have lost the document that you're working on or you have to start over from the last time you saved it. At worst, the machine might not even turn back on and then you may end up having a hardware problem and have to call a computer professional to try to get your machine to turn back on. So in closing, the general idea, if you're gonna be away from the computer for a while, I would not recommend sleep or hibernation mode certainly not for the energy savings if you look around your room right now you probably see at least one or two light bulbs that stay on 24 hours a day and you don't think anything about it so if energy conservation is a thing for you and i get that completely understandable but the reality is you are only going to use about the equivalent of a light bulb to have that machine up and running versus sleep or hibernation now the upside to sleep and hibernation mode is that while your machine is in sleep mode or hibernation mode the moving parts inside the computer are not moving and when the moving parts are not moving that means that there is not going to be extra wear and tear on those parts so for example if your computer cooling fan is not running that theoretically should make that cooling fan last longer if your hard drive is not running that means you're going to potentially extend the life of that hard drive 30 years of experience has taught me that means nothing. Every computer part inside your computer has what's called an MTBF, mean time between failures. And what that means is that particular component is only going to last so long straight from the factory. Whether you turn your computer on or off, whether you use your computer 24 hours a day, that particular component is designed to only last so long. Could you theoretically extend that life by shutting your computer down or putting it into sleep mode or hibernation mode? Yes. To me, it's risk versus reward based on your needs. So as you can see, there are positives and negatives to sleep and hibernation mode. Personally, I never put my machine into sleep or hibernation mode. My computer runs 24 hours a day. I have a screensaver that kicks on after a certain amount of time, and that's good enough for me. If you choose to use sleep or hibernation, here's how you do it. All you have to do is just find an empty spot on your Windows background, right click and go to personalize. On the left side of the screen, click on lock screen, and down at the bottom, click on screen timeout settings right here. Now, if you notice here, the screen option for power and sleep, when plugged in, turn off after. That's for my screen. The sleep mode here is specifically for your computer. This is just your screen. This is for the computer. If you notice, I have it set to never go to sleep. The reason being is because I don't want to lose anything. I think by default, it's set to 30 minutes but you can click this arrow here and scroll up and down and choose however long of a time you want before your computer goes to sleep. Now, if you want to just enable a screensaver, you can go back to this screen here and go to screensaver settings. And this is where you can select your screensaver right here and then set the amount of time you want before it starts. And as you can see, 
it will just do that and you move your mouse and it comes right back. That would be a decent option for you. That's what I do. Unfortunately, I've seen way too many times where someone's machine went into sleep mode and they were working on a school paper or some other important document and they did not save it first and then the machine never came out of sleep and I have to explain to them that that document doesn't exist anymore because they didn't save it first. So hopefully that will be helpful information for you. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please click on that like button. And if you enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing by clicking the subscription link below and hit that notification bell to be notified anytime I upload new content like this. So with that being said, hope it helped and have a great day.